Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you're watching this video, then that means you got a Trash Panda Treasure subscription box. Now everybody got tote bags this time, but you guys got to pick different animals and different art formats, how to put them on your bag. And if you were watching this video, then that means that you picked screen printing. So let's take a look, see what you got in your box and how to use it. If you picked the screen printing tote bag, you're gonna have a bunch of things that look like this. Paint, your actual screen print. Um, I'm using a library card, you are gonna have playing cards. You've got some tape and you have a brush. I have my scissors here uh, to cut the tape because you're gonna need that as well. So remember the very first thing that you are gonna do is make sure that you put newspaper in your bag in between the layers of the front and the back of your bag. That way no paint will seep through to the back side and make some weird looking print. That is not what you wanted there. This way the paint only goes where you intend for it to go on the front. We're gonna take our screen print piece with the silk and this vinyl and we are going to put that vinyl on the bottom. So the vinyl side is gonna to be touching your tote bag and when you touch it, you're just touching the silk. That way, when we smooth the paint on, there won't be a chance of taking off some of the sticker. Now we're gonna cut some pieces of our tape to secure it in place. This way, it's not gonna move around when we are trying to put the paint on and the paint will stay in this very particular design that we have. So when we put the paint here in that green spot and then smooth it down with our card, um, it won't move around. You want it to stay right in place and you want it to stay pretty close to the bag too. So I'm gonna pretty much put tape all over this thing. Now I'm gonna put paint up above the open part, I'm not gonna put it on the outside of this green oval. And the reason is it'll go right on the bag. We want the paint to seep through that silk, but only where we want it to go. So you should have a popsicle stick to help you kind of scoop out some of the paint. And we're gonna lay it in a line sort of above the image that we want but not so far above that image that it's gonna seep through. You wanna keep it on the vinyl, that way it's not gonna stain your bag. I'm gonna put some here so I won't run out of paint. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna take my card, take the edge of it, um, lay it sort of at a diagonal just above the paint and smooth down. So the card isn't flat, it's angled, and you're just sort of pulling the paint down. It's gonna go through the silk where there is no vinyl. There we go. And when you're pulling down, make sure not to pull down past the green vinyl or it'll stain on your bag. So I'm keeping it within that oval. You can see I've got some of that extra paint on there and so I can just put on another layer like just right away. I'm going to smooth, smooth that on. I'm gonna set that aside for a second. And I'm not gonna take off all of my screen print. I just wanna see what it looks like. So you can see that I would like more paint on the tail to make the design come out a little clearer. And I was able to see that just from, from lifting up a little bit. So I'm gonna tape that back down and I'm gonna come and add a little bit more paint. If you need to, you can add more paint with that popsicle stick. If you have enough excess left on your card, you can use that. You can come from the bottom up a little bit if that seems to be the problem of, of where the paint is not going on. 
and then there that looks a lot better that's more like what I wanted I can carefully lift up more of that and as long as I leave that very top one in place I can probably set it back down if I need to I'm I don't mind some of the edges looking not as perfect and pristine because that's just how you know that it's homemade and I like that look so I'm okay with this but if you wanted to add more paint to those edges to get that line a little more crisp you certainly can and I know I have shown you with the leopard but it's the same process for each of the animals so just because you don't have yellow paint for a leopard screen print image all the same things will apply. You want to tape it down, you want to not go over the edges of that vinyl, and you want to make sure that when you peel it up, you check to make sure that you have paint where you want paint before you lift it all the way up. And then you can just let this dry, um, and your bag should be all ready to go when that is finished. Thank you for following along guys i hope you enjoyed this month's trash panda treasure boxes you've got all the information to sign up for next month also want to take this opportunity to remind you of two things we got going on in the teen section this summer every week we have a new prize drawing it doesn't matter whether you have entered in the weeks previous or not and all we want you to do is fill out a bookmark and on that bookmark you'll just say if you've read for 30 minutes each day that week you can text it to us you can drop it off in the drive-thru, you can bring it to any one of the desks, and as long as you do it before we close on Saturday, you'll be entered in that week's prize basket drawing. So if you are doing some reading, listening to audiobooks, reading graphic novels, any of those things, you might want to try to get involved with that. Number two, we still have a scavenger hunt going on upstairs, so if you haven't followed all the clues to get the prize and unlock the safe, you might want to try it. It doesn't take too long, not a bad way to spend an afternoon. Again, thank you for following along. I hope to see you guys next month for another Trash Panda Treasure Box. Bye.